Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator today. Welcome to Thursday. It's Thursday, August 15th, 2024, day 228. <sighs> it is just a simple Thursday, not a whole lot going on. I am in a particularly interesting world, but I've had to mute the music for it. It's a little easier to do. You're not going to be able to... Well, actually, if I turn this camera off, you might be able to see it. But, um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn this camera off for you guys real quick. By not hitting the world button, because I did that instead. Come here, camera. There we go. Alright, so... I guess the music is still kind of heard, but i got to make sure it's muted. Figure out what else is going on here, because I can still hear music in my head. Mm. Whoa, I gotta turn that down. Hang on. So fog density way down. And we'll keep the... Did I do it right? Hang on. Okay, so it was the neon outlines that did it. Okay. Let's see. Alright. That'll just have to do. <laughs> Excuse me. I have my allergies acting up right now. So it's not, it's not pleasant, but... I'll live. <sighs> well, needless to say, Buttercup just got home from school from what I can hear, so it's going to be quasi-chaotic right now. I was going to touch on something that uh, was revealed last night rather than when Buttercup told me directly, because you, know you know how some kids are. Sometimes they don't want to talk to their dads. But apparently, she may not be the most pleased with her classmates, I should say. Uh, let's just say they, um, from what she said, they're not exactly, I don't know, how do I put it without being, like, mean-spirited? Um, okay, let's just say she finds them obnoxious, or she did yesterday on the first day. Today was the second day, though. Uh, for, uh, Lilia told me last night that during class, when she got in, all they would do is giggle back and forth and be like, hey, skibbity toilet. Oh, no, 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 they weren't saying skibbity toilet. No, no, they were saying skibbity riz over and over and over. I'll tell you right now, I don't care for either of those. I've never once seen this whole skibbity toilet thing. I've never once seen it. And part of it is maybe I'm just too old for it or something, but we don't do a whole lot of viral trends or anything like that in our house. And, um, Lily told me it's just, you know, the TikTok generation or something like that. And it makes me thankful I do not allow TikTok in our house. It makes me thankful for that. Because if that's what they do during their little escapades, it, well, anything I've seen come out of TikTok has been low intelligence. No offense to anyone who uses it. Maybe your experience is different, but things most of the things I've seen that get shared aren't exactly um, promising for intelligent conversations. I don't have them often enough, I can say that much, but the main thing I try to avoid in conversations with people is getting political. Because all I know from that is it just makes people very angry. Don't need that here. This whole thing... Because, you know, the angry you get, the more you're going to want something to chill out me yeah i'm good because i know how po how politics makes everyone like in that kind of um, environment everyone loses it's a lose lose when you have that kind of conversation whoops but uh one of the other things i need to recalibrate real quick bear with me there we go hopefully that'll do yeah it, it should work enough but um, I'm, 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 I'm just brain farting a little at the moment because, um, well, I know the child, the, the eldest got home. I said that already, but I'd like to find out whether or not today went better for her compared to yesterday. Plus I have to keep an eye on her backpack every day this time. So she does not fall behind on homework and everything that, that was a problem last year. It will not be a problem this year. Mark my words, it will not be a problem this year. 
But oh, right, I forgot to show what the name of this world was. Hang on, I did it again. Camera comes off again. And the name of this world is literally Neuron by Juice. Dot dot dot. It's just a media visualizer world. Uh, video text audio link now 100% more DJ platform and it is pretty cool because in order to open up your menu you just put your hands together like a f almost fist and without pushing buttons you just pull your hands apart and you get your menu which uh, let's see I can leave it there let's see if they have anything to do, 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 do a lot of stuff that will just get me copy uh, you know, copyright claim on, so I gotta be careful with that thing. Uh, yeah, I can just leave it as is, though. You just close. Oop. There you go. But yeah, this is Neurons. I'm probably gonna keep it on my favorites list, too. It's pretty cool. Sorry, I keep checking to make sure my orientation is right. And there we go. The youngest is now throwing a temper tantrum again. Probably because she wants to uh, do the typical terrible twos and threes thing. <sighs> it's been a bit of an issue. It hasn't been too bad, but well, actually, it's been it's been driving Lillian nuts. So I can't say it's not too bad because it has been quite bad. But. I know one of the other things I need to do tonight before I can have Tessa get into VR tomorrow is I'm just going to have to use super glue on my other shorts again because I just don't have the time and finances right now to take the uh, VR shorts that I wear. I don't have time to take them or money to take them over a tailor to have the Velcro sewn on. So I'm just going to have to glue them onto the shorts again. Hopefully it remains working, but... Anything with adhesive in this house, super glue or otherwise, has been coming apart particularly easily because of the heat and humidity. Like everything slips around. Oh, there is a minor possibility we'll get a thunderstorm tonight. It's great, but also bad. Well, it's really great because we desperately need it. We need to get out of these drought conditions that are just piling up. But it's been about 105, 106 today. It's going to be 108 tomorrow, and that's why it's bad, because it's been in the hundreds. As soon as it starts raining, if it does, it's going to drop into the up into the 80s. And then when the storms are done, it's going to go back into the 90s, and then tomorrow's going to be 108 degrees after a rain at night. I'm staying inside tomorrow. I'm not going out doing anything tomorrow. That would be really bad for me. It's called hum uh, high temperatures and humidity do not do well for asthmatics like myself. It's quite painful, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay here and relax. I don't know about it. Well, okay, I don't know about everyone else, but I'm definitely staying inside tomorrow. Although I will see if we get any good thunder, and if we do, and if it's early enough, I'll try to get the 360 camera out there to get some good um, recording of it. But we'll see. It's, it's a matter of if there's anything good. <sighs> well, I know there's quite a bit more I need to do. And luckily, I got this recording started early, but I really do want to have a talk with Buttercup and see how her day went and see whether or not her classmates were still going on about Skibbity Riz. None of those go together because I hear Skibbity involved a toilet. You don't Riz a toilet. Although, although there's a cartoon I really want to make where a pizza is trying to riz a toilet, so there is that. <laughs> there's context to it. In fact, um, my Discord and Twitch emotes, uh, the those two that I have are actually characters of mine for a cartoon I do want to make. But again, I don't know how to draw. I can't draw. I can't animate. I've never even tried animating before, but I want to make a cartoon. I'd, I'd love to do that but it's gonna take a lot of learning and a lot of patience. But if I can do that, I would love to make a cartoon for everyone. That'd be really cool. I guess you can hit that like and hit this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and notifications if you want to encourage me to make a cartoon, even if it's a short one, just to say I did it. 
Eh, all that stuff, you know how it goes. But anyway, this is Terraquator on your Thursday, August 14th. No, 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 August 15th, sorry. August 15th, 2024, day 228. We will see you all tomorrow on Friday, last day of the week. I know that only means Buttercup got to have three days of school this week. At least next week she gets a full a full week. But only that one, because then the following week is Labor Day. <laughs> Timing, right? Time really does fly, especially when you only look at each day one, one after the other. But yeah, we'll see you all tomorrow on Friday. See you around, everyone. Uh, I know it's right here.